Hi guys, we're now live. Um, welcome from a sunny Evesham and in the UK, and we're actually streaming now live. I'll let you. I'll, I'll let you could say where we're streaming to and from. So over well, to you, Jim at Seven Greetings, spot. world, and greetings to Seven Spot. This is for you. Where's that thing? Right there. Thank you for tuning in because we are in fabulous Vancouver, British Columbia, where we're streaming from the ABFM, known as the All British Field Week, and you're listening to the band. But I'm here with my pal Steve, Steve Dunbar, and this is a uh, this is our 18th. Uh, it's our uh, 18th anniversary. This is where we actually uh, first met. Jim had his uh, vehicle here. And uh, I mean, I've been always drawn to Super 7s and Jim had his. And uh, well, if I may say, love at first sight. I think we're stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Jim, no, Jim and no, I have no. had a relationship. No, we're not married. Say, uh, love, at, love, love at first sight, not Jim, though. Just the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just good friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway, we are at the Lotus Pavilion. Now, we're going to call it that. And I'm going to flip over to the rear camera so everybody can have a peek at what we are doing I, here. I, 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 did have a, a I did have a quick <gasps> preview of some of the pics you sent. And there's loads and loads of different Lotuses there from all yeah. sorts of years and eras. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Cool. We, we've got a, some very, very interesting ones and including some very interesting people. And we've got some members. This is, um, I his name, uh, Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence, Lawrence Weiss. Weiss. Yeah, and he's got his here. And yeah. Rory Banks is about here somewhere. He's got his uh, S3 down there. And we've got a load of other ones that we'd love to go around and see. Why don't we see if we can go and start off with uh, Certainly. the president of... Yeah, def def definitely go for a wander. It looks really busy as well, and the, the weather's obviously helped. Let me tell you that, uh, that the ABFM is a real place. It is huge. That's in Alba. Makes for great TV. Makes for great TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I wear my Elva hat or my Lotus hat. <laughs> okay, Ron. Yeah. Thank you for being with us at, at Seven Squad. This is absolutely fabulous. You are the president of uh, the Lotus Car Club of British Columbia. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Do you have a car in here? Like I do. I'm showing two cars. Okay. So, so down. well, tell us all about it. Well, first okay. off. Uh, 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 my dream car for a very long time is the Lotus Esprit, yeah. but uh, I particularly went looking for a certain model Lotus Esprit, and I wanted the S4 Sport. So this little black beauty here is mine. So it, if you look at the window sticker, you can see it says S4, and there's this little S behind, and that S is quite a big deal. So um, they made 367 of these sport versions. So the difference is uh, significantly more horsepower and significantly more lighter. So the zero to 60 of this car runs around four seconds. Wow. And wow. Uh, very quick. And that, that looks stunning wow. in black. Yeah, that's nice. It, well, it's ceramic coated. So the, it, it, ceramic coating really does pop in the sun. By the way, it's ceramic coating. What, what, Ron, what is that? You're, you're, you're chatting to John, John Minion in the United Kingdom. Hi, John. Yeah. Hi, yeah. From <laughs> Well, you know, ceramic. you've heard of car wax and Canuba car wax, et cetera. Ceramic yeah. coating is a, a silica uh, type coating. So it's as hard as rock. It's difficult to apply. It's very expensive. And usually you have it done by a professional. And then uh, it lasts anywhere from five to, well, three to five years, depending what you do with it. You don't have to wax your car, do anything again. And really, yeah. when you when you hit the dirt, or when you hit it with water, the dirt pretty much falls right off. I'm going to have to look into that then, yeah. Although we, we uh, our, our, our bodies, uh, we, we are uh, MK Indeed, our gel coat finish. So I've been using boat boat products and stuff like that. Well, definitely look at the ceramic coating. Um, you want to get a really good commercial stuff, but there are some uh, consumer products uh, that are easy to work with and apply. This particular ceramic coating costs about about seventy five or a hundred dollars US a bottle. Yeah. And it could do about three or four cars. Well, let's go down and take a look okay. at 
this is so my son from Calgary. Uh, I live in Vancouver. My son from Calgary flew in to bring this yeah, car in. Son, was it? Yeah. yeah, that was my son that you just yeah, met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, he drove the Esprit and he loves driving the Esprit, but he does not like driving this car of mine that I've had for 44 years. So this is my Elva Courier. That uh, I, I saw, I saw the pictures of that. That looks absolutely stunning, and the the, the shape of it as well. Well, this this card, this is one of my beauties. So I've had this for 44 years. Uh, it's running the Lotus Twin Cam Stage Two engine. So it's putting out about 170 horse, and it weighs 1,300 pounds. It was also built as uh, from the factory as a race car. And being from the UK, it would look completely normal to you. But here in uh, here in Canada, that right hand drive is uh, it, it's a bit of a challenge driving it on the roads over here. <laughs> Is your rubber look a little tired, or is that the way it is? Okay, so a lot of people look at my tires, and they say that that uh, I forgot to put this out. But they look at my tires, and they say you need you need a new set of tires. And normally, I put this out. These tires are not worn; <laughs> they're brand new. <laughs> <laughs> so th these are competition race tires with a DOT approval. So I can actually drive them on the street, so cool. but they, they're pretty much like slicks and they don't have much in the way of tread. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, but I do get a lot of comments that I should spend some money and buy some new tires. And I go, these were pretty expensive tires, <laughs> but they're completely useless in the rain. So as you'll see here, the, uh, I, the, the Elva doesn't weigh much more than a seven. Uh, it's got a very thin shell on it. So it runs 1,300 pounds, and I'm not going to tell you how much it weighs with me in it. But it's... <laughs> yeah, so the, the engine came from the UK. Uh, when I, In 2007, when I did a restoration, um, I was looking for a Lotus Twin Cam engine, and they're, they're pretty hard to get here in North America. And when you do, they, they run anywhere from six to 8,000 US. So uh, my wife said, well, why don't you just go on eBay and buy one? And I said, you just don't go on eBay and buy a twin cam race motor. But I did go to eBay.com.uk <laughs> and, I, and I did type in their twin cam motor. And sure enough, there was a stage two <laughs> twin cam motor and I won, and I won the auction. Uh, so that was in 2007. It landed here in my garage. It cost me about 3,500 Canadian, so about 2,700 US, which is a steal for a, a stage two engine. So I literally dropped that's, the engine that's, that's in. A, I, that's, a, that's a bargain, that is. I know, and I didn't even do anything to it. I just dropped it in. Well, the car does run a uh, the car does run a, a dual exhaust. Um, I did want to get a little bit uh, some muffling. It has very, very little clearance. This is running some competition suspension and shock, so there's not much clearance. So what I did do, there was, I, uh, I cannot put a resonator or a muffler anywhere between the back of the car and the engine. So those are uh, Harley Davidson glass packs. <laughs> now the car doesn't sound like a Harley Davidson, <laughs> thank goodness. Yeah, but they, it does sound pretty tough. Well, can we see it from the side? The full size? Full side size. It's so, side. Stunning. Stunning. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, who have we got joined in on the stream? Of the it's podcast? me. It's Kevin. It's Hi, Kevin. Kevin. How are you doing? Yeah, no, but I'm sorry I'm late. I've just been out in the car and I, I, I got lost. Well, I didn't get lost. I just, I just <laughs> <didn't come back. laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, so, in my younger years, I did used to race this on a racetrack called Westwood here. So, the, I, I did keep my old racing suit, which I cannot fit into well, anywhere. That? Uh, that was in the late 70s, early 80s. <laughs> I've, I've got a, I've got well, a wedding probably, suit. Well, you probably watched like it. I've, I've got a <laughs> wedding suit I got married in. I'm the same. I can't fit in that anymore. <laughs> so, really, my racing suit just comes to the car shows with the car now. But yeah. uh, I did used to race it. The, the car, I, if, you, if I look at, show you the wheels, it's got a very strong lock to lock. Okay. So you can see how much I can turn that front wheel. Wow. So That's more, so, that, that's more than the seven. Yeah. So I, the, the beauty of this is this car is very light on the, on the back end. So she does oversteer. Uh -huh. So when I throw the car in the corner and the, ba and the back end comes out, with that much steering, I can still keep the car going in the direction I want it to go, wow. even though it's pointed in a different direction. No that's amazing. <laughs> Ron? It's, it's, good. it's good. I've never seen one of these before. It's beautiful. I'm just trying to think what it looks like. Oh, it's it's a, kind of like Spitfire like side with, with wings on I, it. Really. I thought, yeah, I thought Spitfire from the front, but definitely yeah. Jaguar influences in it as well. Yes. Well, yeah, it, I guess you so. know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's made in your part of the world in uh, in southern England, and uh, the, but most no, of hey, them steady, do, steady. 
we live in the north oh okay yeah but the, you know you guys between the south and the north of england uh, a, a drive to use a big deal for us that's like going down the street yeah i know it's, it's ridiculous isn't it yeah what a treat ron thank you so very much, much again, Jim. Uh, thanks very much Go see Rory. He's got a like this Cortina to the left of you there. That is, yeah. that is, and then there's the owner right there. All right, can we have a chat with him? Oh yeah, please do. Yeah, I want to hear your story. Okay, here's the story. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cover, cover my hair. Thank you. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay. I'm this is brilliant. We can do this a lot. This is okay. Great. Now, I've, I've, I've only asked yeah, because right. where nice I used to, to live uh, down okay. in Surrey. Okay. So there was a bloke across I the bought road this car from this those. man. Hang on a sec, John. John Minion. I'd like to yeah. introduce you to John Rennie. He's the owner Hi, of John. I've, I've... Hi. How are you? Good name. Good name. Like so I want to. I want to tell you about my car. It's yes, a please do. It's, it's, it's a 1967. Ford Cortina Lotus. That's a Mark II 1A. They only made 4,032 of them from 1967, March, till 1970. They only brought 33 to North America. Wow. They, they all came in 1967 because after that, they couldn't meet the environmental standards. And they all came to Canada. So it's one of 33 cars. 20 years ago, well, actually, 30 years, I keep saying 20. In 1991, my friend, who's a racer, bought this car after seeing it in an ad, went with his new wife he married in 1991, brought the car home. In 1992, he brought it to this car show. And that was the only time it had been here. 1992 i still have his card from his window and the brochure <laughs> yeah now he bought the he bought the car to race but it was so stock and so rare that instead he dry stored it in a rental property and he bought a second car and for a decade and a half he raced at california Oregon, Washington, NBC. He died last year in October of 2020. So I have a memorial in the front of my car showing him in his race outfit, showing him racing with his best friend. That's it. That's a nice touch. I like that. Yeah. Very nice. So I thought I thought you would enjoy that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That looks like Oregon. No, that's Mission. Is that Mission? Mission Raceway. And that was the all British Ford race day. Oh, okay, cool. So there were there were um, Mark II Cortinas, Mark I Cortinas, Escorts, Anglias, um, all British Fords. I, 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 yeah, I remember the Ford Anglia. My, my uh, late mother used to have one. When I was a yeah. teenager, or, or even earlier than that. that well, my, yeah, my, my, my friends in high school, two of them had Anglias. And I bought a new 1968 Cortina GT, brand new. I went to the local Ford dealer who was, had a race division. There's, there is a Cortina GT of 68. There is a 67 Lotus Cortina that hadn't been sold in 67. I wanted the Lotus. It was one third more than the GT. And I couldn't even afford the GT without my dad's help. So I, I always wondered, I always wondered what would happen if I had bought the, the Lotus. Now that I've owned the Lotus, I know within six months, I either would have burnt the car up or I would have to sell it because then I couldn't afford the maintenance on it. <laughs> and I, I consider this, I consider this car, my back to the future car. It brings it back. My GT, I quit my job. I gave up my apartment. I threw a tent in the trunk and for three months I drove across North America. I went to Penticton, 
to Calgary, to Edmonton, to Regina, to Saskatoon, to Brandon, Manitoba, Thunder Bay, Hamilton, went down to America, to Westchester, Pennsylvania, drove through Washington, New York, uh, Connecticut, Maine, around the Bay of Fundy, Yarmouth, uh, Halifax, down the St. Lawrence, uh, Quebec City, Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto, ran out of money, <laughs> went downtown, applied for a job, had a career till 2015 in that, that field. And when I was stressed out being a general manager of a company and had a choice between Valium and a classic car, I chose the classic car because it has be better, better resale value. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In a different way. So is that a good enough story for you? Terrific, John. Can I Thank you very much. Okay. 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 So I'm going to say I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Brilliant car. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers. Thank you. See this? Yeah. Can we have a look around the car while we're... Oh yeah. Have a I'm gonna while you're chatting, I'm just gonna have it take a peek. That's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. Yeah. As, as I say, when I was living in Surrey, uh, there's a bloke across the road that had one, and I, I must have been eight or nine or something. I looked at it, and it's just gorgeous, and the sound yeah. as well that comes out of them. Yeah, brilliant. yeah. Isn't it just gorgeous? My, I, my late uncle used to get, have one. I, I just can't with, get over that. No, that roof, it no like floor in it. Too much. <laughs> no floor in it. No, you just have a, I'm going to do a wander here. Rory, can I catch up with you? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. we so could. Where is this showing? The, the, the other Facebook uh, seven spot member Rory Banks is here. Rory, I'm wondering if you'd be kind enough to take us for a tour and show us your car. You have to put this on and we'll take a wander over and have a look. Stephen? Steve, we're going to be over there, so you can catch up with you. Take us over. Take us I don't. Over. I don't know if these are going to work on my hearing aids. <laughs> we like. We like twin go. Webers. That, that's a beautiful that's thing. Thank brilliant. you, John. Let's wander over, Rory. Okay. If you, if you can't hear well, because Rory's Rory, Rory hearing, and if he doesn't hear, I'm going to be a Jim Perkins. There you go. And I'll try to keep up with you, Jim. Now, just before we get to my car, this behind us is the car to have. What is it? Oh, yeah. A oh, Lotus yeah. Omega. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. the Colton. We'll yeah. back to that. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Oh, the Ila, rather. Exact. Elite. Elite, nope. sorry. Elite. That's the V6. Yeah. That's the V6, V6 isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a bit about the history of your car, Roy. Right? How did well, you come to, to how well, did the car come to your possession? Well, this uh, car, I'm the third owner. Uh belonged to uh the first owner was a fellow named Martin Gleave, uh -huh. and uh, he uh, he lives in uh, Eagle Harbor in West Vancouver, yeah. and he still lives there. He's he bought the car in December of 1969, uh -huh. and uh, from actually the uh, father of one of our club members, uh -huh. uh, Rins Kiljan, who was working for Checkered Flag at the time, right. and uh, he owned the car for 34 years, and finally. Uh, Finally, David Ellis pried it away from him in, uh, and owned the car for, uh, well, he bought it in uh, 2004 and uh, kept the car for 13 years. The first time I came to the, to the ABFM, yep. he was presenting here with him. Right. And that was in 2004. And that's when this bloke yeah. <laughs> walked in. <laughs> Steve Dunbar, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Good to meet you. Fellow seven spotter, take us around and show us the interior. Tell us all about your car. So, so uh, David had it for 13 years until unfortunately he passed away. Yes. And uh, the car came to me from his son, Toby. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I've done a few things. I, I redid the entire braking system of the car. Yeah. 
now the front discs are drilled and slotted with uh, braided lines. Uh, new uh, new pads or new um, new brakes for the uh, rear mm -hmm. or drums, and uh, it has a 1600 Cortina GT engine with a, a downdraft uh, twin throat Weber. Oh, that will sound nice. That will sound really nice. And, and uh, you got the clamshells on it. Is that is that still the gel coat or is that painted on the body? Uh, no, these are painted. It yeah. uh, it never had just a colored gel coat. It was always painted. But uh, uh, nose cone and uh, the fenders, the clamshells and the rear fenders are all fiberglass. And the center yeah. of the car is aluminum. Absolutely. Now, and, you had an adventure coming over here. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the fuel line came adrift and <laughs> spilled fuel everywhere. But he's That's a not handy not guy. Good. Not good. He got, he, he's a very handy guy. He got out there with his black tape. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, it was blue. Blue tape? Yep. <laughs> and he secured all the uh, fittings, and yep. here we are. Unfortunately, I had a full tank of gas when I... Uh, arrived and or when i started this morning and uh and i'm down to less than a quarter of a tank <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be interesting yeah. i'm sure i can get it to a, a gas station so dunlop dunlop mag wheels and i had a heck of a time finding the correct size tires they're 165 80 13s yeah. oh, as the car unusual. well because they're a lot bigger now. Uh, yeah. The seven next to me is 205 70 13s, but I wanted skinny tires. And uh, so it's got one, 165 80 13s as it came from the factory. And the spare tire on the back is the original Dunlop Super Sport that it came with Classic tire. 50 years ago. Classic tires. Look at that. It's probably <laughs> rock hard. I said, please don't use that. <laughs> But it still holds air, so it'll do for an emergency. Absolutely, yeah, yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. This is the second time around. And Rory was kind enough to give us a shop tour of his garage. And he has uh, another toy in there. What, what do you have sitting at home in the, in the garage? A 1982 TVR Tasman. Isn't that amazing? Oh, uh, I do like a Tasman. I do, and it's one of five in the world because yeah. it is uh, left-hand drive, and it's uh, a 2 plus 2. Left hand oh, drive. Right. Yes. I didn't, I didn't so, know they made a left hand drive. So I didn't know so they, they made, made a two plus two. They made uh, 47 two plus twos, uh, probably <laughs> because there's no legroom at all in the back seat. And, uh, but they had to modify the, the body shell. So most of the Tasmans, including the convertible, had very short back ends and very long front ends. Yes, but yes. to make to make uh, room for the seats, they lengthened the back end and shortened the front end. So, in my opinion, it looks more balanced now. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, so, of the of the forty seven, uh, there's only five left hand drive cars. Wow. And, uh, wow. and this look at that. I bought this Moto wheel in 1972 for my bug eyed Sprite. No. So it's vintage, almost as old as the car. Wow. But look at that interior, guys. Isn't that spotless? Isn't that yeah, looking good, good, looking good. Liking that. And there's a little plaque uh, alluding to uh, David Ellis there. Because he was... He never put the top up. Mind you, I've never had the top on either. So... Because it's always sunny in British Columbia. Yeah, it's always. <laughs> oh, look at these. Look at these. Yeah. This is a nice I touch. Look I live in the UK. Oh. Don't talk to me about sun. <laughs> the wind wings. Yeah. It's never sunny here. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Where did you come by those? Right? Those are nice. They came with the car. Okay. okay. Really? Those are amazing. Oh. But I really like these mirrors. They... They came from Demon Tweaks oh, did they? in the oh, UK. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're in the UK. Yeah. Yep. And you just undo one of the screws. Yeah. You can put it up or down and uh, put this adapter on yeah. uh -huh. and uh, put them on. No yeah. drilling at all. Yeah. I was going to say, you can mount them quite amazing. high up so you can actually see over the rear arches as well. Yeah. 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 Well, I've got them in the middle. So 
it yeah, seems yeah. To, yeah. Yeah, to work well. Our, our, nice. our mirrors sit quite low. I can just about see over the top of the arches. And look at that. <laughs> if you look carefully, he's got stone guards. Yeah. yeah. Well, Hugh's got stone guards on his, too. This is, rather than having a sheet of aluminum screwed yeah. into the fender, yeah. we've got this uh, plastic. Yeah, that's what I've done with mine. That's what I've done with mine. Yeah. Very much, nice. much better. Better. Rory, we're going to wander around. Certainly. Say thank you so much. You're welcome. And I hope you win Brilliant. the round. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, th thank you so much. A lovely car. A lovely car. Thanks again. Cheers. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go wandering over here. Let's see who else I can find. The, the weather looks fantastic as well, I have to say. I'm going to see if I can find the rent twice. Now, I was just commenting that I have not been here. Stuart? Yes, Jim. Jim, <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to our, our group. Okay. Would you put your head this headset on so we can talk to you and have a chat? Folks, this is Stuart Furness, and he has a lovely Westfield. Now, I was just commenting uh, with my our friend uh, Steve that when I was first here in 2004, my replica was situated way up on the hill over there because at that time, notices were to be displayed with notices. <laughs> no Westfields and no homemades allowed, but look at this. Tell us about your wonderful car, if you don't mind. Yeah, times have changed. Obviously, yeah. they they don't mind the uh, the kit cars. No, and, and I'm, I'm so pleased. Yeah. Because we we all breathe the same air, and 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 use the same fuel. For that matter. I'll tell you my story. Yeah. Well, that's what when, I'm going to see because here we got is in the seven, and the big thing that we love and seven spot is to find out why seven. Well, when I was a teenager growing up in the UK. Um, I don't know, I just got to know about the Lotus 7 at the time, yeah. and I think at the time the, the famous thing about the Lotus 7 was that you could do a, you could put a hard lock at 70 miles an hour and you couldn't roll the car. Yes. That was the, the sales pitch. And I thought that was amazing. And then, um, fast forward, yeah. I moved to Canada. Lived here for more than 40 years, and then I retired, and I kind of was looking on Kijiji, and I saw the Lotus 7 for sale in Vancouver, and I thought, i got to have that car. <laughs> About three years. About three years? Yeah. Did it belong to a guy by the name of Lay, L-E-I-G-H? -E no. It went similar. similar. Uh, maybe he owned it at some point, but the... Uh, the guy that I bought it from, I believe that he imported it from the UK. Because as you can see, it's a right-hand drive. And um, I believe he, he was the uh, the importer. Wow, wonderful. Yeah. So, uh, which engine do you have? It has a 1600 uh, Crossflow uh -huh. uh, Ford. Yeah. And uh, uh, the engine's pretty good. It's uh, I'm still working on some issues with the carburation, but uh, apart from that, it runs pretty good. Yeah. And I haven't really done very much to it, just a bit of tinkering. Uh -huh. um, not like... Lovely, lovely, lovely. I, I just love Westfield as well. Yeah. yeah. Not like some of these boys, they, they seem to spend all day and every day doing things to the cars. No, no, no. That's not me. It's meant to be driven. I, I'm, I'm the same way. I, uh, I, I built mine, but it, most of the time it sits gathering dust from us, and I, and I don't present the car. It's dirty when I present it. And then I drive it home. That's the way I like it. <laughs> what a thing of beauty. And this is your first time at the AB? Yes, this is my first time here. Yeah. Uh, I recently joined the uh, Lotus Club of BC yeah. and, um, and uh, Ron K recommended that this is a, a really good show, and he's right, it is a really good show. Uh -huh. I think there's 51 Lotus cars here, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, it's really exciting. I'm gonna to have to be here next year, aren't I? Uh, I think you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Stuart, thank you so very much. You're very welcome, Jim. All right, cheers. Okay. I'll take that, and I'm going to go a wandering. Okay. Yeah, I'll see who else I can turn into a victim. <laughs> Thanks again. Okay. All right. What do you think, guys? Is it good and entertaining? It's not bad, is it? It's, it's, yeah. uh, the view's fine. Some incredible stuff. Yeah. Now, this is the, uh, Laurent Weiss, this really? car. He's actually a seven car member. And I wish he was here because he's kind of having a look. Yeah, I can't see him just yet. But this is this is an amazing car. He actually, his story is he actually bought this car from a neighbor. And as you can see, it is not a Lotus, but it is a Lotus inspired vehicle. And his car was an absolute basket case when he, he got it. And it is so different. Have a look at this, guys. It has uh, leaf springs, transverse leaf springs, front and rear <laughs> on this. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And what engine does he have on this vehicle? Sorry, Jim. What, what engine does he have in this vehicle? Um, I would say uh, Crossflow Cortina 1600 Crossflow. Oh, wow. right, over there. Oh, thank you. oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we can't do without those. We're getting to that age. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. No, 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 no front fenders or a roll bar? Uh, no, no. No roll bar. No roll bar. It's, this is pure inspiration, guys. Look at this. And he's been, he's here. You can tell us the story. He's been such a bad basket case that, like, everything didn't work. And if he drove it, it was like a, a life-changing event. But now it's all sorted. Goes like hell. And you know, this, this car weighs, like mine is pretty light. Like mine's a bike engine and it weighs about a thousand pounds. He says that this is, I think he said 1300 pounds. Yeah. With a crossbow engine, with a big lump of iron. It's, how the heck? Wow, that's amazing. Isn't it? No, he's done a great job on this one. And the front end obviously is uh, quite an interesting uh, component. Seen a live axle on the front end. I was going to say, with the, yeah, with those rods coming out, yeah. Check out this though, Now, it's too bad he didn't, that isn't here to open up the bonnet. It's, it's got a, a fully uh, self-engineered exhaust manifold with one outlet. <laughs> Space is a bit of a constraint, and uh, his in, uh, exhaust manifold, as Jim was pointing out, is quite an interesting concept with everything coming into one header. Uh, very reminiscent of pre-war old Bentleys and things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And the and the old, the old races around Brooklands. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. What a yeah. Retro car. Amazing. I love it. Let's keep wandering. It's been quite an amazing turnout. Yeah. So this is a, the first post pandemic uh, presentation of cars at the ABFM. And they were totally, oh, well, even, if I, even if my seven was drivable, which it's not um, at the moment. I would not be able to make it down to the show because um, they're, they're totally booked. Bill, yes, sir. my name is Jim. Yeah. Oh, is Jim Bill, also with the uh, car club of the company. We're live streaming. Okay. Yeah. Would you mind if I get a little live stream with you so you can tell us a bit about your car? Questions. Okay. Is that all right? Okay, cool. This is Steve Dunbar. Hi, Bert. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Yeah. You're, you're live streaming to England right now, and we got about 9,000 people potentially going to be watching. So don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask a favor of you so that you can... Here's a headset for you. You'll be able to talk to John Minion. John Minion, you're speaking to Bill Ratliff in... Oh, in, yeah. You're right. Can you tell us a yeah. bit about your car and how you came into it? John, it's so nice to meet you in this technological manner. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm actually in the UK, in Evesham. So, yeah, that's how far you're streaming to at the moment. It is going out internationally as well. Well, John, uh, I have yeah. a 90... I have that's a 90... A that's a, that is a gorgeous colour red, that is. It's a 1963 Lotus Alain uh, 
I believe it's Carnival Red was what Colin called it at the time. I bought That's it right. from. I bought it in London via telegram in those days. You bought it in London. I bought it from the factory, and and you told them to put in and had it left hand drive. It, yes. Wow. A left hand could drive. How do you park. like that, guys? That's go that is gorgeous. That's, but left that's hand drive, and you ordered it from the factory that way. <laughs> in the, in London. Well, there were. I bought it when before there were any dealers in North America. Uh -huh. So I dealt directly with the factory. They're very kind and responsive. It cost me one thousand two hundred ten pounds and twenty shillings. <laughs> no I believe. Key. Correct. Good investment. Good investment. And the end. I was trying to decide between an elite or or the new technology Lotus Land mm -hmm. at the time. Jimmy uh, Clark. Good, good decision there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jim Clark made my mind up for me when he won the Formula One championship for Lotus for yeah. the first time in 1963. Mind if I swing faster right. so yeah. everybody can yeah, have a look at the Can we see the engine as well? Yeah. The okay, engine is the engine is a sixteen is a 1558 engine. Yeah. Stage two. Uh, yeah, nice. The the color of the camshaft covers is green because it's stage two tuning that offered from the factory. Uh, uh, six months after I got had the car, they shipped it to me. The uh, there's one major deviation in the core of this this automobile. They never had six, 1963 championship world champions uh -huh. until I ordered, asked the factory to ship me a pair to put badges on. That's brilliant. That's a nice That's touch hard. as well. I like that. It is great. Yeah, what a gorgeous, gorgeous Absolutely car. beautiful. And I've had the pleasure of driving it continuously for 58 years now. Oh, wonderful. And wow. wow. Mind if I ask, how many miles have you accumulated? Approximately 58,000. Well done. Sir. I live on Vancouver Island. Uh -huh. The roads are only the longest road is 250 miles, so you can't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. And I choose not to. Bill, on behalf of us at Seven Spot and the Lotus Car Club of British Columbia, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. Cheers. And so thank much. you again. Thanks, Thanks, Bill. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank yeah, you. Thank you very much. Enjoy lovely the car. Day. Lovely so, car. I'll, I'll say I'll send I'm going to send a copy of this to Ron and you'll get distributed amongst everybody here. Super. All right. Where should we go next? Who's our next victim? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jim, Jim, you're always looking for victims. My name is Jim Jim Gold, also with the Notice Council here in Columbia. Um we're doing a live stream for a seven seven four. And we live from around the world. There's about 9,000 people potentially going to watch you. But we'd love to hear your story and, and, and tell, if you could tell us a bit about your spirit time. Well, would you like the headset? Oh, yeah. This will work better. There's a headset, and that way you're actually, you're actually speaking to two gentlemen in Irwin. Uh, one is John Minion, and he's in Evesham. And uh, we got Kevin Broomhead in uh, Nottingham. Okay, well, um, this is a 69 S4 with uh, a bunch of little modifications, trying to keep it looking pretty original. We bought it in 1989 in Oakland, California. It's from Oakland. Um, I actually bought this car on the recommendation of Dave Bean and a, a guy, um, and he, he said if I could get back to Washington with it, that it would probably be worth the 6,000 bucks I paid for it. What 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 color is that? Because that is stunning. It is amazing. It's um, it's a Honda color. It's um, it's a I think it's a two thousand three Honda Element. I was looking for something close to an Austin Martin type of color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That really and suits the car. It does. I think it does. I got to point out something if you don't mind me saying so, John. You're not going to see too many of these with this. Can you tell us what's going on? Well, <laughs> it's kind of a goof. Um, I, I put the, I put the air, the air filter in there before I, before I did the, uh, oh, the little, uh, the covers. I used to just have it a hole in there and, uh, and the air filters were tilted down farther, but 
they, they fell off a couple times and that's where it wants to be. So that's where it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of lazy to change it. <laughs> yeah. What can you say? It is. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. Apparently yeah. a full throttle, if you've got the lights on, the beam gets pulled through. Is that correct? Well, I haven't verified that, but I... <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to bend my head around. <laughs> I think it still gets I think it still gets all the air it needs because this thing leaks and there's there's venting around the back. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, the one thing I was be, worried about. Yeah, it should be all right with that. If it, if it works, it works. So this is the this is the third Alon I've had. I I had a couple others back in the day i had a 65 s 265 x s2s actually when i one when i was 18 and one when i was 21 and survived those and i i had a 330 gtc and if you see the valve covers there they're kind of that's ferrari crinkle paint um nice and and um so it's my little it's my little ferrari i i i call it the the crazy little ferrari that uh enzo didn't have the thingamajigs to build yeah 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 it's a beauty it's just an Thanks. absolute charm I yeah it's been a lot of fun it's been a lot of fun victor i'm going to say thank you on behalf of uh, the lotus car club of british Columbia and seven Sport. thanks a lot all righty all right thank, thank you, you. Lo great lovely great. car, I lovely hope you car. Win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> we want to all win the lottery just to get here today. that's right yeah. well it's been a beautiful day yeah let's let's wander around here see if we can find another victim Sorry, Jim, I'm down there. No, no, you're doing fine. Hello, sir. Is no. this one yours? No, this is not. My my friend, it's my friend's car. And okay. He's, uh, I'm going to have to circle back to him. Yep. As soon as I find him. Bruce, well, he's just gone to the restroom. Okay. Well, I will circle back and we'll get back to him. But there's no shortage of victims here. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing turnout, Jim. There's so many different cars. The fact Loving that it. if you wanted a show, you couldn't because the uh, entry missed that close. Yeah. Because of the uh, interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is this is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. Yeah. This is <laughs> this only is Lotus. Just, this is just the Lotus. Up there is the Triumph, the MGs. There's the replicas. Uh, oh, let's head over to the replicas. We got to get it. Oh, there's a replica, a filler. Mm.